Hi, my name is Aaron. I'm with Fleetistics. Today we're going to be talking about the Flex Asset Tracker from Geotab. We're going to open the box with a brand new unit that we just got in. We're going to take a look at the Asset Tracker and hopefully get you excited about this great new product. So let's go ahead and start. All right, so opening it up, we have a getting started guide. Pretty fancy, huh? Seems like a lot of instructions. I know the process for getting started isn't this complicated, so um, don't worry about it. Basically, you screw it into the uh, asset and then away you go. Next thing we have is a bag of self-tapping sheet metal screws. And then now we have the Flex Asset Tracker itself. Let's take a look at that. All right, first and foremost, how big is it? It is roughly just over 10 inches this way. You can see uh, the depth of the unit is about an inch and a half, and it is about three and a half inches uh, on this edge here, so pretty compact unit. Uh, the next thing that you'll notice is that we have a button and a connector. The button powers the unit up and the connector can be used to connect to other systems or equipment that would use the flex unit as the, uh, as the modem for transmitting that information that's being collected. You'll notice on here that we also have a, um, a cover that we can peel off which is going to expose the solar panel. Okay, and when that gets charged up, which takes a couple days out in full sun, then the unit's going to start reporting as long as the power button is turned on. Uh, the unit's going to report once every 24 hours when the asset is not in motion, and it detects motion through an accelerometer inside the unit itself. Once uh, movement is detected, then the unit starts reporting once every minute, which is great for a battery-powered type asset tracker. It's uh, much better than most asset trackers on the market today. The solar cell obviously regenerates the power. The unit itself, once it is fully charged, can go three months of doing basic inventory type tracking without any additional charge. So if you're a seasonal organization and you have assets that aren't going to be moving for a while, then you know this is perfectly suited for that. If you have equipment that may be, um, you know, in cloudy areas up north, let's say, you know, snow conditions, things like that, then this is a great asset, uh, asset tracker for that. It is IP67 rated, and what does that mean? Basically, it's weatherproof. What you don't want to do is pressure wash it from less than three feet, and everything should be okay. The other tip with the Flex Asset Tracker is that you don't want to mount it like this. And if you think about this, in Florida, we don't worry about it. We think, hey, that's great sunshine. That's going to give us the best recharging capability. However, up north, where you have snow and ice that accumulates on top of your trailers, you definitely don't want to mount it like this. As that snow and ice shears off the top of the vehicle, then you could potentially take the unit with it, as well as, the obviously, the snow and the ice is going to um, pack up on top of the solar cell and diminish the efficiency of the regeneration of the battery. So what you want to do is you want to mount it like this with the connectors down, give it the most water resistant configuration, and then also by doing it this way, what's going to happen is any snow or dirt or whatever that gets on the solar cell, uh, when rain hits it, it's going to wash that off and keep that uh, working as efficiently as possible. If you have an interest in the Flex Asset Tracker, give us a call. Uh, you know It is fully integrated with the Geotab UI, so you're getting vehicle tracking uh, for OBD, JBUS, ELD, DVIR, the whole nine yards, as well as the Asset Tracker in the same application uh, on the same map. It's a great package overall for fleet management, and we'd love to uh, you know work with you and, and get you up to speed on the Flex Tracker and potentially get you out one so you can start using it and seeing how well it reports. So, uh, give Fleetistics a call. If you like this video, give us a like or a thumbs up on social media and we'll post the phone number for you as well as our website and we hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.